They got a high water mark out here from the flood. It's our borough offices. And the entryway here, they've got all kinds of neat little pictures of all the stuff in Fairbanks. Oh, that's a fire park too. That's like the, the salmon bake on this oh, side. Oh yeah, the salmon bake. I was trying to figure out what that was. Yeah. Well, hello, bear watchers. That was just a quick trip to our um, borough building. So our borough buildings where um, the tax assessors are and you pay your taxes over there. I don't know what else is over there. I think the... Um, it's mostly to do with taxes. There's the land assessors. I don't know if you can hear Mary. Oh, sorry. But, you know, yeah, there's like the assessor's office and everything all, all about land is over there. Yeah. But I'm, I'm thinking that um, there might be... A governor's office over there you know that's um, like you know for when they're in town there might be like a place for the governor um, I, the governor doesn't normally stay here maybe maybe because um, yeah the governor actually lives in North Pole I don't know <laughs> I don't know but anyways that's that's our uh, borough office so, which is very big. I'm, I don't know how many square miles our borough is, but the boroughs here are big, you know, like your counties, but um, they're very big. And um, what I wanted to talk about in this video, um, it's been a couple of weeks now, maybe three weeks since that door blew off of the Alaska Airlines plane. But, you know, if something happens, like that and our planes are grounded uh, we have no way to get out of here um, you know we're kind of in the middle of nowhere you know if, if you want to put it that way uh, there are you know private airline companies but the big airlines, um, a lot of them try to be here. I don't even know if any of them run in the winter here anymore. But they try. They do have other airlines in the summer. But I never even see them. You know, when we're at the airport, I don't see any other airlines coming and going. Um, well, it's it's just Alaska Airlines is basically what we get up here. And in order for us to go. Um, anywhere we have to go down to anchorage first we do have a, a seattle hub you know which is what mary and i did when we went to seattle we went from here straight to seattle so if you're lucky you can get those but you have to pay that extra fee if you're going from here to anchorage um there's no water in there <laughs> sorry about that I don't know why the dogs always feel like they gotta eat or drink or something right when you're trying to talk. And the bird chirps and sorry about all that. It's it's, it's you know real. <laughs> what happens when you live with yeah. animals? Yeah, and then I'm not gonna redo all this, but <laughs> I'm lazy. <laughs> So, yeah, so we have to pay that extra fee. And that's why I was saying, and in the summer, the rates are really high because they're tourist rates. Mm -hmm. So that's why we didn't go to Michigan last summer because it was almost $900 for us to go from here to Michigan. Where And I checked the October rates because it was really cheap for us to go to Michigan um, October the year before. And they were the same rates. They were like 300 and something, you know, for us to go from here to Michigan, which is really good because it costs us that much to go to Seattle. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes, like Mary and I, what was that? It was 109 each way or something. So it was like $218 plus we had um, a companion fare. So, so we went to Seattle very cheap very cheap 
Um, you know, so sometimes we can catch those. Uh, you know, I hate to use the companion fares where are someplace so close. You'd rather use it. And that's what we did for the cruise as we use the companion fare for the cruise. And I think the reason we did, we did the Seattle trip was because mine expired sooner. Um, it would have expired before the, yeah. the cruise. Yeah, so we had the extra companion fare that would have went bad yeah. before we did the cruise. So... So that was another reason why we went, even though we couldn't really afford it. <laughs> but, oh, my gosh, we had so much fun. I am not complaining <laughs> that we did it, you know. And I think I would have gone stir crazy without having done that. It would have been a really long winter. Yeah. It's very odd for her to talk when she's not over here. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. So I wanted to talk about that because, you know, that's an interesting concept for us. You know, it we're 300 and some miles away from Anchorage. So it's like a good six-hour drive if you're driving fast. And, uh, you know, so it's an hour flight. Uh, if you get a tailwind, it's 45 minutes. But, yeah, and... So I had a bunch of friends that were gone during that time because it was the time of year when a lot of people go um, on vacations and they were stuck. You know, they they were stuck for three, four extra days uh, because oh, yeah. they grounded those planes. And so if something ever happened, we're just out of luck. Okay. So Bean is squeaking things. <laughs> but the other thing is they treat us like another country here because, because um, you know, anything that comes up here is shipped up here. Um, it has to go through Canada. And that's why they're making all of Alaskans get those real IDs because they want us Canadian approved um, because we have to fly over Canada to get to you know anywhere really and uh so they want us to have the real ids in case something happens to the plane and you have to stop in canada so that way we you know have uh international id of some sort so you know they charge us those extra fees because things have to be approved to come through canada um like things are really hard to get here now like um lithium batteries um, can you think of anything else that's hard to get here? Because because you were doing stuff through Carlisle. I mean, the main thing I heard was lithium batteries. Yeah, lithium batteries that are, was a big are a big issue. Um, yeah, and rechargeable batteries. It's crazy now because they sell the chargers here, but you can't get the rechargeable batteries because they're, I don't know if those are lithium based, but um, you can't get rechargeable batteries here. <laughs> um I can get them through Amazon, but they take a little bit longer. They take some doing. Uh, it's just, it's interesting. Yeah, because I think they have to come by train. They can't ship them by plane anymore. I did notice a lot of, um, like, furniture pieces and carpet that was getting shipped through the company I used to work for because there's... There's a lot of, like, big online businesses that just will not ship to Alaska. Yeah, sizes. Uh, if it's bigger than a male size, you yeah. know, mailing size, like three feet long, um, they won't ship it here either. Oh, and tires. Tires are actually cheaper to get shipped to a location in the lower 48 and then have someone ship them mm -hmm. individually to you. Yeah. It's so weird. Amazon actually ships them here. Yeah, yeah, I've gotten tires through Amazon before, um, and I had to, if I shipped four, now they don't do this anymore, they ship them now, but when I did it, it was years ago, and I tried to get four, they wouldn't ship four, they wanted to charge me a pallet charge. Um, if you have big things, they want to ship a pallet, um, which means it's coming up by train, and it's crazy expensive mm -hmm. but um i figured out if i ordered them two at a time instead of ordering the four together <laughs> then they shipped them two at a time yeah. which was 
stupid <laughs> because they're still shipping four. Um, yeah. But that's it's what, just odd. At the company I worked for, that's what we would have happen. Um, you know, people would order regular tires or tires for their four wheelers, like replacement tires. And then they would, um, yeah, there'd be like two would show up at a time. They'd come in and pick those up and then we'd see them again the next day to pick up the other two because those would arrive like a day it's, later. It's so odd. Yeah. Yeah. And then they want to charge us international shipping. Um, you know, a lot of places like, uh, um, oh, Hot Topic, um, uh, Petco, even though we have a Petco here, um, you know, just because things, places I used to order from before, now they want to charge an international charge and it's, it's just really expensive. So Amazon saves us here. Mm -hmm. So. So, if you got any questions about, you know, airlines or flying in and out of Alaska or anything like that, let me know. Um, I just, you know, it it's kind of scary that, you know, we just got, like, Alaska Airlines in the wintertime. Well, um, and our um, airport in Fairbanks is really small. It's only yeah. got like four terminals, I think. Like where planes can essentially yeah. just park. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I might not even have four. I think it only has three. Oh, maybe it is three. I thought there were four. Yeah. Maybe four. I don't know. <laughs> and then there's another side that has small airplanes. Um, Raven, Alaska used to run out of there. I think that's what most people used to take to get to Prudhoe Bay from here because it just makes sense. It's closer. Yeah. But now yeah. Everyone and that's the other Bay. thing is there's a lot of people in town here that work up north on the north slope at Prudhoe Bay, you know, at the oil refineries. Um, they have to fly down to Anchorage and then go back up. Um I wanted to do maybe a trip to Barrow or a trip to Nome, and it's the same thing. You have to fly down to Anchorage and then fly back up, where they used to have flights that just went straight through. Yeah. But they don't do that anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, Anchorage is our hub. So, you know, that's another extra two hours, you know, because you have to go down to Anchorage and then back. So, yeah. You know. <sighs> Anyways, enough ranting. <laughs> I just wanted to tell you the situation up here. <laughs> you know, it's unique. We've yeah, got yeah. some weird things mm -hmm. that we experience living in Alaska that maybe not a lot of other people do. Right. So, we'll see you in the next video. I think this will be a Friday video. So tomorrow. Bye for now.